Hello everyone, my name is Corbin and this is Blonde Basics. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to get rid of scale and midi bugs on a anthurium using surgical alcohol. So this plant is anthurium pulchern, pul I think, pulchern. Um, it develops these beautiful big leaves with age. I'll put the, the right name on the video because I just think that I butchered that pronunciation. But anyway, but this plant is filled with um, scale and mealybug and it has honeydew on it, which is an absolute like giveaway for scale insects. This is surgical spirits, which is in a spray bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray this plant. And this will really just help kill off any of the scale because alcohol evaporates really quickly. So it completely dries out the scale as it dries. Yeah, as the alcohol dries, I mean. The next thing I'm going to do, of course, is to use these makeup removers. And I'm going to wipe off all of the scale from this plant. Now, I know that this could seem like a tedious task, but really it's it's imperative to remove all of the scale in, and hilly bugs, including the crawlers or whatever else could be on your plant. So I'm going to actually start with the stems and just put it like that with my fingers and just simply go in, in the direction of the leaves and to really just take off any thing that's on the stems of my plant. I the test. There's nothing I detest more than scale insects. Well, perhaps spider mites, but I think scale is just the worst thing. Ugh, and these stems are so full of that honeydew. It's just disgusting, actually. So yeah, you just like move it up and down um, to get them all off. Um, like that, like over there. And also this bottom one um i'm just gonna give this a last thing so, so what i'm actually gonna do is like right, let's just spray it on him so i'm just gonna give this the last little put some alcohol on the tab and just do this again and it's very important to also look behind any of these um like um, I know with like um, cattleyas you kick all these um, sheaths, but because this is the perfect place for, for mealybug um, to go and hide on your plant. I love to get mealybug and scale actually love to get into all the little um, crevices of your plants, and it's from here that they usually launch their attack. Now I'm going to start with the leaves. So I'm just going to spray this again. Okay. And we're going to um, wipe the fronts of the leaves. I love to sit um, in the little veins and just like start with the um, sucking because what they do is they literally suck all the energy from your plant um, and they produce this horrid, horrid um, honeydew um, substance which is just the worst thing in the world. The great thing about anthuriums and doing this is that the leaves are extremely easy to handle. So it's not as if you can easily damage your plants. You just need to also be careful, but yeah, it's really easy to handle. It's easy to see them also, because that's extremely important, is that you have to be able to see where they are. I mean, can you imagine having to clean off scale that's on a, um, like made in their fern or something. Where they usually love to sit is on the back of the leaves. The plant pr produces the honeydew because the scale insect is fe like feeding on it. Um, and that honeydew is meant to attract ants. And the ants are 
meant to ward off um, the natural predators of the scale. It has no choice. It's almost like the scale is forcing the plant to produce the honeydew. It does make sense. The, the other thing I just want to say is that you don't use this with every plant because I've noticed on plants like, like ferns. Um, because this has a tendency, it chills the leaf because if you, when you apply it and you feed it, it feels really cold. Um, I've noticed that plants with more delicate leaves like ferns or clathias possibly, it turns our leaf brown. But with anthuriums and philippians and orchids, I haven't seen that it does that. So, yeah, just be like careful of that, that you turn fins and he, uh, he, uh, use it on your fur and it's like your maiden fur. Such a beautiful plant. Now that I look at it again, I, I love the leaves. Um, it's not a flowering, it's not, well, it produces flowers obviously, but it doesn't have a, um, a showy in a flower. Um, it's more for the leaves. I'm, I'm told that these leaves can actually grow quite large, but my plant is still quite small. So we'll see what happens, but I do like this anthurium. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos like these.